Welcome to this video, my wonderful internet buddies. Okay, so first of all, this video is about paradoxes, um, but one specific paradox in general. This is a paradox that has been wildly out there and is one of the most popular paradoxes in the entire world. This paradox is referred to as the omnipotence paradox. Don't be naive. You have no idea what it means to be Q. With unlimited power comes responsibility. Do you think it is reasonable for us to allow omnipotent beings to roam free through the universe? This paradox asks the question, can an omnipotent being remove its omnipotence temporarily? Now the problem that arises with this is that if an omnipotent being can remove its omnipotence, then it is no longer omnipotent. But if it cannot remove its omnipotence, then it is no longer omnipotent. You see the problem here? Now omnipotence refers to being able to do whatever you want, regardless if it fits within the bounds of reality. The most classic example of this is the question, can God create a boulder that he cannot lift? Now, this implies that God can do anything as if he's omnipotent, right? So, if he can create a boulder that he cannot lift, he cannot lift it, and therefore he's not omnipotent. Though if he cannot create a boulder that he can't lift, then he is also not omnipotent, and he cannot do whatever he wants. Now I've proposed an answer to this problem. I've come up with a good one, I think, you know, you gotta tell me what you think. So, think of it this way. Being omnipotent means you can do anything. And this anything is not constrained by reality, and paradoxes that we know of reside within reality. The reason these paradoxes are paradoxes is because they completely break logic. Therefore, if something creates a paradox, it cannot be possible. So the whole argument behind this is that if an omnipotent being cannot be omnipotent since it creates a paradox, does that always mean that there is no such thing as an omnipotent being? I don't necessarily think it's the case. Then think, doesn't that also mean that logically, if you can do anything, you could also break logic? Now, breaking logic includes breaking the paradox. Now, I can't even fathom breaking a paradox. All I can fathom is the ability to break a paradox. So because of this, we must construe that if an omnipotent being is omnipotent, then it automatically is not bound by our reality. So there's your answer to that paradox, folks. Can God create a boulder that's too heavy for him to lift? Maybe, maybe not. Doesn't matter, because that resides within our logic. And our logic doesn't apply, since he's omnipotent. Potentially. Though since I have the inability to actually ask an omnipotent being whether or not they are omnipotent, we're just going to have to assume that if there is an omnipotent being, that they are omnipotent. By what right have you appointed yourself to this position? Superior morality. Thanks for watching, everyone. That's just my two cents on this whole paradox thing. I came up with that a while ago, and every time this paradox comes up, uh, I try to feed this information to everybody that I know. Now, this is just one of many ideas, and this is my take on it. Please, I want to hear more paradoxes and more solutions to this paradox that you may have in the comments below. So, once again, thank you for watching. See you next time.